Bangladesh has emerged as one of the fastest growing economies around the world, continuously clocking in GDP growth rates of around 6 to 7% annually. This has happened because of the outstanding initiatives from the government and the persistence of the people. And this has led to the idea that Bangladesh would become Asia's next rising tiger, a definition which applies to some Asian nations that have seen tremendous economic growth due to rapid industrialization. With Bangladesh, it is becoming crucial for this to happen, and the government has laid out the country's biggest plan ever, the so-called Vision 2041, a long-term national strategic socio-economic plan that would enable the People's Republic of Bangladesh to become a high-income nation. So what is this Vision 2041, and how is it going to position Bangladesh as the world's next economic destination? Before we move on, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe for more! The Bangladesh Vision 2041 was crafted as a 20-year plan that started just in 2021. It was a master plan that aims to increase the national gross domestic product of Bangladesh close to 2.6 trillion US dollars, way above from its 2021 estimate at just 409 billion dollars. In order to do this, the government has laid out several frameworks to transform its various industries. From agriculture, one that which Bangladesh has continuously improved upon and is solving hunger, its education and healthcare, ensuring that its human capital is well educated and healthy, ensuring that its human capital is well educated and healthy is key to ensure that its economy grows exponentially. Transportation and communication are two strategic components that are also aligned with its recent massive infrastructure developments. And lastly, to overall ensure that its businesses are met with vigorous growth. These frameworks are what will propel the economy of Bangladesh to become a developed country by 2041, and these will not only ensure that the nation to have a $2.6 trillion of GDP, but also to improve its nominal GDP per capita to $16,000 in 2041 from $2,554 in 2021 which will help improve the overall wealth of everyday individuals living in Bangladesh and a way that will eradicate poverty. To enable such a way for individuals to enrich themselves, the development of human capital has been one of the largest emphasis of the 20-year master plan. It is critical not just for themselves, but for the overall plan. A healthy and skilled human capital has always been a way to improve a nation's economy, and this strategy is evident across all the other Asian tigers. For Bangladesh, the major points that they will improve is to have a knowledge-based economy, ensuring that the population literacy rate is at 100%, universal free education for up to 12 years, and the implementation of affordable health care. These are the most significant necessary steps to enable the society of Bangladesh to have that healthy and skilled human capital. This Vision 2041 also has two more important key aspects. To increase the foreign direct investments that Bangladesh receives and increase the investment to GDP of the economy. To drive this sector, Bangladesh's key milestones have already been formed. This is being fueled by the robust growth of its IT sector in recent years, which has paved the way for economic zones to be born. These economic zones are important to ensure that investments from foreign nations and local investors are taken for economic growth. According to the Bangladesh Economic Zone Authority, they have received 153 proposals in 2021 for one of its zones called the Bangabadu Sheikh Mujib Shilpa Nagar. These 100-plus proposals are estimated to be worth over $20 billion, which suggests that a growing rise in foreign investments popularity led by the attractiveness of Bangladesh's economy. The last two key aspects are to increase the country's exports from $38.7 billion in 2021 to over $300 billion in 2041, and to increase the infrastructure investments to $1.1 trillion in 2041. These will likely be fueled by its position in the textile industry, but also its growing technology hub, which is connected to the economic zones. But there are also plans laid out to ensure that its exports are diversified, meaning textiles and IT will not be the only major components that will grow. There is further emphasis to ensure that every single industry is going to ride this 20-year miracle. These are the major achievements that Bangladesh's government and people want to achieve. Getting there is hard, but with the right approach and continuous investments in its humans, infrastructure, and further pushing its export-oriented industries, we believe that the nation is capable of doing so.